What up, what up, everybody? So we got 15 people already. What's up, everybody? What am I wearing today? So today I'm wearing uh, Fev de la Cuse. Um, it's been a little bit colder here today through the past week, so I've been trying to bust out some of my uh, colder weather fragrances. So I went for this one today. Um, great stuff. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Glad you're liking it. Stuff is really good. Wish I would have saved myself some more. I think I'm down to like 20 mils now. Um, so I'm probably going to do another split on it at some point in the future just to uh, get a little bit more of it because come winter time, I'm probably going to be going through it pretty fast. Prada Luna Rosa Black. Nice. Heard that's a good one. Spice Bomb versus Spice Bomb Extreme. I would say Extreme just because it's uh, a little bit more unique. Let's see, I noticed you don't talk much about Chanel fragrances. Do you dislike them, think they're worth it? Which one is your favorite Chanel? Yeah, I mean, I don't dislike them. I dislike the pricing because you really can't find them discounted all that often. So I usually just don't even bother. Um, but my favorite is probably just O Extreme, Allure Home Support O Extreme. Um, I've got this in the 150 mil, and I also have the regular Allure Home Sport. But this is probably my favorite one. I ended up selling my bottle of Blue de Chanel just because I never wore it. Um, but yeah, I don't dislike them. I just don't pay much attention to them. I prefer Dior, like the Dior Homme line. prefer those. Have I been sent new Parfums Vintages? I've been sent two samples. Uh, got... DR and Evolution D Lome Matin, Matan, and these are uh, clones of Elysium. Um, perf, let's see, I forgot. Soir is a clone of the Parfum Cologne Blue Bottle, and Matin, Matan is supposed to be a little bit more rich. It has patchouli instead of vetiver in it. Uh, I prefer just the regular Soir which is the closest to um, Parfum Cologne. Um, I really like the vetiver in that. But Matin, Matan is good too. Uh, the patchouli in this one is strong. It's a little bit more spicy. It's a little bit more sweet. 
a little bit more of a nighttime smelling version of this one, I think. So yeah, I'll have a review on those coming up probably this weekend. Thoughts on Hefez 1984 by Alexandria. I haven't tried it, um, but I've heard it's one of the better ones. I hear it get talked about all the time. But yeah, I personally haven't tried it. See, my take on Prada Luna Rosa Carbon versus Sauvage. I prefer Sauvage just because it performs better. Um, but smell-wise, I would probably pick Carbon. Sense of the day, CK1 shock. Thanks for the CK shock versus the one video. Yeah, no problem, man. Um, yeah, CK shock is a good one. It's probably my favorite Calvin Klein. Uh, you know, as far as price goes, it's really good bang for your buck. What do I think of Spice Bomb Extreme? I like it. Um, I prefer it over the regular one um i mean you can't go wrong with either of them but i do like extreme just because it's different it's a little bit more unique <clears throat> so you got chris from undercover fragrances what's up bro i enjoy your fragrance videos got a sample of tom ford lost cherry and smell good but the price is too high what is your next fragrance you're thinking about buying next? Um, I'm not for sure. Uh, could be anything. Whatever comes into my mind and catches my attention. Um, right now, it's probably going to be... Oh, uh, I don't know. Still probably Nasamato Baranda. Uh, I do plan on getting that at some point. I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. Uh, but probably that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Best Zerzhov. You know, to be honest, man, I haven't tried that many Zerzhovs. I've tried like two. Um, so yeah, I really can't answer that question. And same with Tom Ford. I've tried like three or four of their private blends. Um, so really... Yeah, I can't answer that. Thoughts on Carolina Herrera, Sageman, Privé? I like it. I like it a lot. Um, that one along with the regular CH Men, uh, those are two of my favorite designers right now, um, at least in the top 10 of my favorites right now. Uh, both are really good. Top three winter fragrances for 2018. Probably Feb Delicieuse. Um, by the Fireplace, Replica by the Fireplace, and... Probably CH Men Privé. Those are probably my top three right now. What is your most complimented fragrance besides Aventus and Sauvage? Probably Elysium. Um, and then, I mean, that's kind of in the same category as those two, so that might be a cop-out. So to choose another one, probably Baccarat Rouge 540. That would be probably my um, most complimented besides those. No more vintage creeds, LOL. You know, it's funny because I actually just bought another one like a couple hours ago. Um, the Zesty Mandarin Pamplemousse. Um, I guess it's not, I mean, it came out in, I want to say, 94 or something like that. Um, but I think it is discontinued or vaulted. I'm not for sure. But yeah, it's funny you say that because I just bought another one. <laughs> I'll probably get Soir and Sunset in Heaven, BR540. Yeah, nice, man. Um, yeah, they didn't send me Sunset in Heaven, so I don't know, but I'd be interested in trying that one too, especially with how expensive Baccarat Rouge 540 is. That'd be a good one to have.
Sophie Julia from Barstool Sports is a hot girl journalist who said that I should get Chess Bond, Bond number nine. Nice, man. Haven't even smelled it. My 2013 Chanel Allure Sport is my scent of the day, and I'm getting down to a handful of wearings. Allure Extreme will be my scent of the day tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, I like both of those. Easy to wear, easy to layer together. A lot of times I'll wear the regular sport in the day, and then at night I'll spray on Allure Home Sport Extreme over top, and that works good. What is the number one lady killer for bars, clubbing, I think, ultra male or Invictus? Yeah, I'd probably pick uh, ultra male out of those two because um, it is somewhat unique as far as the designer goes, and it's extremely strong stuff. Thoughts on New York Oud by Bond Number no. 9? Haven't tried it. I haven't, I've only tried like a handful of Bond Number no. 9s, like, not even a handful, probably like two or three. So I don't know. Best of Mancera. I know you got some of them. I do. Uh, let's see. I would say my favorite ones are uh, probably Sicily, Sadrap Boise, and probably. Wild Fruits, those are probably my top three right now. Um, yep, they're all great. Black Gold would probably be my, I don't know, I don't know if Black Gold would make my top five. Um, let's see, thoughts on the one gray app? Do, like do a spin just to try it but I haven't got around to it oh what's up Anthony what's on your fragrance Christmas list uh it's a good question um probably I don't know man um probably creation e enigma by Roja um at least that's what I'm probably going to buy myself. Um, no one in my family is going to buy me a Roja uh, at that price. But for myself, probably what I would buy myself for Christmas, probably Creation E Roja Parfums. Thoughts on Modern Le Mans. I haven't tried it, I don't think. Or no, I have. Um, yeah, I think I've... I've tried it just at like Macy's just for, you know, whatever. And it was all right. I mean, I can't compare it to any older bottles, but yeah, I mean, it smelled all right. Oh, we got Robes 08. What's up, man? Is there a niche clone for Lana Wheat de Lome? I know that F Black by Salvatore Ferragamo is a cheap, similar scent. I think there is. Uh, I think it's from like Pin Halligans or something. I've heard Jeremy Fragrance talk about it before. I think it's some sort of Pin Halligans fragrance, but I don't know for sure. Um, I haven't tried it. Did you try the new Blue de Chanel Parfum? What is your favorite Blue de Chanel, if any? If you don't like them, then why not? It has a reputation of being a compliment beast in the Fratcom fake news. I have not tried the Parfum. Um, my favorite Blue de Chanel out of all of them would probably just be the EDP. I uh, can't go wrong with that one. Um, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that I'd rather wear something else. Um, they perform average. They cost a lot. And I don't know. It's just something I don't reach for, so I sold mine. Um, Do I have a favorite parfums to Marley? Probably um, Have Don. That would probably be my favorite one. It's a great fall scent. 
Any idea if loam has been nerfed over the years as much as lawn and wheat? Just bought two 100 mil bottles from 2009 for less than $25 each and haven't really tried them out yet. I'm assuming it has been. I think I've seen pictures online and the they were a lot darker in color compared to the newer stuff, so I'm sure it has been. Um, but I mean, for $25 or less than $25 for 100 mils, that's a great price. So, yeah, um, I'm sure they're going to be better than the new stuff. I wore blue Chanel last week when I was getting a haircut and my female hairdresser said, what clone are you wearing? You smell so good. Then she asked if I thought she was hot. Nice, man. Question is, was she hot or not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, blue Chanel is great. I mean, it's going to get compliments just like any other Chanel, like any other designer. I just personally don't want to spend the money on a bottle. I'd rather just wear Aqua Atlantique, um, Sauvage. Um, but yeah, she was hot but crazy. <laughs> All right, man. A little crazy isn't too bad. Crazy with scissors. Oh, I can't have that. Create a tag video, best clones to wear to the strip clubs. <laughs> I could do that. Um, I don't know what I would choose for that. Probably just some basic ass designers. Have I tried Costume National, Scent Intense, or 21? No, I have not. Um, have not. What is your best and worst reactions from a fragrance you wore? Uh, my best ones have been just pretty standard, just really enthusiastic reactions and asking what I'm wearing and stuff like that. And I really haven't gotten any bad reactions from fragrances, believe it or not. Um, usually because I only spray a couple times, I don't overspray, so that would never be an issue. Do I layer Creed like Virgin Island water over Aventus? I think it smells pretty good. Yeah, I actually have a decant made up of those two mixed together in one. And I wore that a lot over the summer. And that's a really good layer. Um, also, I think Aventus with Sublime or Sublime Vani from Creed is another good one. Uh, Aventus with the original Santal, I've heard, is another good one. Um, but yeah, there's... You could layer a lot of them together, and they seem to work out pretty good. Recommendations for a daily office fragrance, men cool water. Yeah, cool water would be a good one. Another one would be just like Dior Ohm O, Prada Loam. Um, yeah, YSL Loam be another good one.
is Gucci Envy a hard to find fragrance and is it worth anything? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, people are paying a lot of money for it online. If you look on eBay, it's going for pretty insane prices. So, yeah, I would say uh, definitely worth quite a bit. If you have a 100 mil bottle, you could sell that for quite a bit. But I myself haven't tried it. Um, I'm not going to spend that much money on a designer. I wore tobacco oud intense today. Last quite a while, maybe ten to twelve hours. Nice. I haven't tried the intense, but I've tried uh, just the regular tobacco oud, and it's a good one. And that stuff lasts on me a long time as well. Um, Thoughts on one million. So much hate, lol. I think it's awesome. Have you honestly ever smelled it on someone else? Yeah, man. I think it's a nice scent for what it is. I've never smelled it on anyone else, um, and that goes with a lot of the basic fragrances uh, that people say you smell everywhere. I haven't smelled really any basic fragrances like that on anyone around here. So I could easily pull it off, probably, and be fine. Um, but I've never had the urge to buy a bottle. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's popular for a reason. It's, it smells really good. Am I crazy for loving Burberry Brit as much, if not more than my niche fragrances, any similar barbershop type fragrances you'd recommend? No, I mean, Burberry Brit is a good fragrance. I did a review on it like last winter. Um, and it's really good stuff. Um, a good barbershop type fragrances I'd recommend. Got one over here, MFK Masculine Plural. Uh, just got this in a couple days ago. And it's a really good one, Lavender Vetiver. It's got this classic type of scent to it. Um, this is really good stuff. This is probably one of my favorite MFKs right now. Been uh, wearing it. Uh, I got a sample of it a while ago, and I wore that for like a couple days in a row until I got my bottle. Um, but yeah, this is good stuff. I definitely check out Masculine Purell. Purell. Um, yeah, it's a good one. Hey, where are you trying to get or reach with your YouTube channel and or are you trying to make a career out of off of this fragrance reviewing stuff? Um, really just doing it as a hobby, uh, doing it because it's fun. Um, I mean, if I was able to make it as my career, that would be awesome. But I don't really think that's all too realistic uh, just because, you know, the community is still relatively small and, you know, I need to get. I, my channel would need to be way bigger than it is now to be bringing in um, that much money to, you know, have it as my career. Um, but, I mean, if it blows up like Jeremy Fragrance's channel did, that'd be great, you know. Um, that'd be awesome, but I don't really think it's the most realistic um, thing to, you know, think about. Would I be a specialist and work for a fragrance company in Paris? Um, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Had to see.
What's my most expensive cologne that I own? Not Aventus. Probably Elysium Extrait. Um, stuff right here retails four eighty five for this fifty mil bottle. So price per mil that the most expensive, and it's also the most expensive in general that I paid for a bottle. So that would probably be it. Opinions on Azara want to buy night kind of impulse bought it for the fall winter rotation It's nice, but something makes me doubt my purchase. I mean, it's it's an alright fragrance It's definitely better than the original wanted um, And if you like it, you know, then I wouldn't doubt it, you know um, If you like it wear it um, personally, I haven't felt the need to buy a bottle. So um, But yeah, it's a good fragrance Say that Dior called you and said, we want you to get on the next flight to Paris. Would you leave everything that you had now to go on that journey? I don't know, man. Um, I, I mean, I guess it depends. You know, that's pretty vague. I don't know. Are they going to be hiring me for sure? Uh, I don't know, man. It'd be cool, though, working for Dior. Uh, favorite designer fragrances. Probably CH Men, just the regular CH Men, uh, Jerome Intense, and the one EDP Dolce Gabbana, the one. Those are probably my top three um, rough estimate because um, that changes all the time. Uh, but CH Men, definitely, I've been loving that one lately. Just picked up another bottle actually. This is a 2010 bottle, which, by the way, I'm trying to sell. So if anyone in here in the U.S. wants to buy this 2010 50 mil bottle, as you can see it's pretty much full, sprayed at one time. 2010 50 mil bottle of CH Men hit me up because I'm trying to sell it. So, yeah, probably CH Men would be one of my top favorites right now. Paris vintage siege men to the modern not yet still need to get a modern um, Bottle, but then once I do I will Do you plan on buying Jeremy fragrances product I Probably will just to try it or at least get in on a split or host a split um, Or something along those lines because I will be curious on trying it um where do you get Jerome Intense? My Snapchat chick says that cologne makes her wet. Um, I've picked all mine up on pretty much just on Facebook. Uh, my first bottle I actually got off of CVS.com. They were running like a good deal or something like that, so I bought it. But yeah, if you just go on the Facebook groups, you can pick up bottles. I have like three of them right now, and I've gotten those, you know, those other two off of Facebook. I'll probably buy that. Yeah, man. If you want it, um, you can buy it. Probably gonna sell it for like ninety. That's what I listed it for earlier. Um, you don't have Facebook. Uh, in that case, it's probably just Fragrance Net, eBay, um, Max Aroma. Just one of those discounters. What is your favorite, preferably affordable designer fragrance for fall winter? I prefer something more mass appealing than really niche, unique. Um, probably, I don't know, man. It's hard to pick just one. Uh, CH Men Privé, the one EDP, uh, CH Men you're just talking about. Um, Lana Wheat Alone, one of those. Uh, those are all safe they're all relatively affordable um 
Yeah, I'd go with one of those. I think Fragrance Net has the big 150 mil bottles of CH Men Privé on there for like around 50 or $60. That's when I picked up mine. Um, I'll trade for a full 50 mil of Dolce Gabbana by man. That's tempting, man, because that is a, that's some hard to find stuff, but I'm just looking to sell for right now. Versace is coming with the new Eros Flame. That's what I heard. Um, uh, I think they, Versace or something like wanted them to take down the Fragrantica page and all that information. So I'm pretty sure all that stuff is taken down, which is kind of weird. So I'm not sure when that's going to be coming out. How many bottles do you have in your collection? I'm over 200 now. I think I'm at around 100, uh, give or take a little bit, but somewhere around the 100 mark. Pineapple Vintage or Vintage Intense? I would go with the Intense. Uh, it just seems all around better uh, than the original uh, Pineapple Vintage. Do you think that the 2016 and up uh, Lana Wheat blows compared to Edition Art? No, I mean, uh, I still wear the 2016 version and it's still fine. Um, a lot of it is in people's heads. A lot of people say it's super watered down and it sucks. And that is true. It isn't. It doesn't have as much depth, and it's not quite as rich as the Edition Art uh, second formulation. But it's still good. Um, yeah, I mean, I if you can get a good deal on the Edition Art or any of the older vintage uh, batches, then definitely go for it. It's not really worth paying over a hundred dollars, in my opinion, because for like a hundred dollars, you can get the 200 mil of Lana Wheat Alone new formulation and it would be just as fine. If it doesn't perform that good, well, you have the 200 mil and you can just, you know, respray it. Uh, but yeah, it's still fine. But I got my nose on a Scott of Magnetism. No, I haven't. Um, isn't that one discontinued, I think? I know some of the Escada fragrances are discontinued. Is 2016 batch of Invictus Aqua worth the demanded price on eBay? I feel like I'm missing out on a classic. Uh, I don't even I don't even know what the prices are right now. If it's over like a hundred dollars, then no. Um, it's just no. I mean, it's not worth it at that price. You can just get the 2018 version and be fine. But yeah, it's not worth that price. I had Invictus Aqua 2016 and think it's a bit overrated. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's an Invictus Aqua. It's a Paco Rabanne. Um, and it, it, at one point, it was one of my favorites, mainly just because of how good it performed being a fresh fragrance. But I haven't hardly worn it at all, all summer. So, yeah, I wouldn't pay more than, like, $80 for the 2016 Let's see. Oh, what's up, Martin? I didn't get to meet Jeremy this past weekend. I strained him muscle on my back the day before, naturally. Yeah, it's no problem, man. Uh, I'll get my nose on it at some point. Uh, hopefully your back is doing better. Ever try Musk Ravager? No, I have not. Plan on it at some point, but I haven't tried it yet. Nautica Voyage was a great scent for me in this summer in outdoor sporting events. Yeah, man. Can't really go wrong with Voyage, especially in the dry down. That's when it's the best. I heard Candles for Men by Liz Claiborne is at an outrageous price on eBay as well. Why? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I've never even heard of it. I'm assuming it's probably discontinued, and that's usually how it goes. 
uh, with eBay pricing and inflation, um, discontinued fragrances are just, they just go up in price. Just look at like Midnight in Paris and Invictus Aqua, like we were talking about. All of those are ridiculous prices. Thanks, man. I like the 2018 batch. It's just a good smelling fragrance. I just didn't want to miss out on something amazing. 140 all the way up to 220. No, thanks. Yeah, man. It's not worth those prices. Um, if anything, you're probably better off with the 2018. Because in my opinion, the 2018 smells better. Like it's a little bit more smooth. It's a little bit more well-rounded. It's more perfected in my opinion. Uh, the 28, uh, 2016 is a little bit more scratchy. It's more synthetic. Um, but it does last longer, which is nice. But as far as scent goes, uh, the 2018 is better. Ever tried the Oso oh Hyped Midnight in Paris? Nope, I have not. I um, actually have a sample of it. I haven't actually tried it, though, yet. But... Hey, do you think Durham Parfum is almost each quality and would you pick it up even if you own Durham Intense? Uh, I mean, some people will say it's niche quality. I guess it depends on what you define by niche quality. Um, I actually have it and I really don't wear it that much. I prefer Durham Intense over it. Uh, Durham Parfum is just, it's almost too strong. Uh, the leather, it's very prominent on the leather. Um, I just, it's not very wearable, so I prefer Durham Intense, but as far as the uniqueness and stuff like that, I guess you could say it's kind of in the niche glory. I feel like they can almost put Durham Parfum in like the private collection bottles and, you know, pull it off in that collection with that price. Um, but yeah, again, I prefer Durham Intense. That's like Bath and Body Works, Mahogany Woods. It was 32 when it came out. It's discontinued. Now sells on eBay for 70 to $90 brand new. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's annoying, man. What do I wear for deodorant? Don't tell me you wear Old Spice. I don't wear Old Spice. Um, I just wear this like gel stuff. Um, no specific brand, just whatever I can get at Walmart. That's usually what I go with. Um, it's in like, it's kind of like this gel type of stuff that works pretty good. Has my fragrance ever made a lady weak at the knees or something similar? Which fragrance? Uh, yeah, Lana Wheat to Loam. That one definitely did. Um, let's see. Probably... Uh, the one EDP that one has, um, and Aventus has, uh, of course. Let's see. What are your thoughts on Bois d'Argent? I have the giant bottle because I gave in to the hype. Not sure I understand why. Yeah, I haven't smelled it, so I have no idea. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I haven't seen any quality reviews out for Creed Royal Service. Have you got your nose on? And what are your thoughts? If so, I haven't tried it, no. And I actually haven't even really heard anyone talk about it. So that makes me curious now. I'm probably going to have to try to grab a sample of it or something. What is your beef with Old Spice? <laughs> I mean, I don't have a problem with Old Spice, but uh, yeah, I just don't wear it. Smith's is the only deodorant I'd wear. Nice. Thanks for answering. I own Jerome Intense, so I guess I'll skip Jerome Parfum. Are you enjoying Guerlain Ohm IDL EDP? Yeah, no problem. Uh, I actually sold my bottle of Loam Ideal EDP just because I wasn't reaching for it. 
I kind of got tired of it after I split it. I did a couple splits of it online. I just kind of got tired of it. To me, that one falls in the same category as Duro Intense. Um, even, I guess you could kind of say Lana Wheat alone because they're all very powdery uh, men's fragrances. And so because of that, I just didn't really see myself reaching for it. So I just ended up selling it. But yeah, it was a good fragrance, but I just rather reach for Duro Intense. That's one of my favorites. Bar soap or body wash? I prefer body wash. Um, just easier, I guess. I would like to get some of the uh, like fragrance smelling soaps and stuff like that at some point, but I haven't gotten any of them, mainly just because it's they're expensive, and I'd rather just buy generic body wash. But I would like to try some of the fragrance you know, soaps just to see how they are. I think Bulgari Aqua Mara was really overrated. Excuse me. I wore it this summer, but I barely smelled it myself. Yeah, man. I don't like Aqua Amara really all that much at all. Like, I don't know. It's just, I like the opening because, like, you get that nice orange in the opening. That smells really good. But the dry down was just too floral for me, man. I got, like, a lot of Neroli, and it was just floral. Like, a lot of people say it's one of the most masculine smelling aquatics, but. I don't think so. I mean, I just wasn't a fan of it at all. I would wear. I would prefer Aqua Atlantique over Aqua Amara. Um, and for like a really masculine, uh, aquatic or marine, I would just pick like Costa Azura. Um, I mean, I know this is technically unisex, but this one definitely leans masculine to me, and it's got a lot more depth too, and this definitely leans masculine. I almost feel like Aqua Amara could be unisex, um, but yeah, I don't. I didn't like it either. Get Smith's bergamot and lime deodorant from Walmart. It's like Jerome Cologne. Oh, nice man! I'll to try that. I'm a big fan of Jerome Cologne, so that would be interesting to try. Favorite fragrance of all time? I don't know, man. That's kind of one of those hard questions to answer because it's constantly changing just depending on my mood. And a lot of times what happens is when I get a new fragrance that I really like, it ends up becoming my favorite fragrance for a while, partly just because of you know the hype behind it of you know me blind buying it and then being excited to finally get it. So that becomes my favorite for a while. So yeah, it's hard to answer. It's constantly changing. Sterling soap has an Aventus inspired soap and lotion, very cheap. You know, I have heard of that actually. Um, I've been meaning to pick some of that up. My two teenage sons have Invictus, Nautica Voyage, Mont Blanc Legend of Tents, First Instinct, and Versace Dome Blue. What is a good cold weather fragrance for teenagers? Good question. Uh, let's see. Probably you could go with something. I would just say something like the one EDP. Um, some people might say it's too mature for teenagers. I mean, I guess it depends on how old they are exactly. Um, but I mean, yeah, the one, this would be a great one to go with. So it's uh, kind of fits in that genre of fragrances where it's nothing that will offend anyone. Um, but yeah, I would say something like the one. They're probably going to be standing out more with this one compared to, uh, you know, like Dylan Blue and all that because those shower gel and clean. This one has, you know, tobacco and it's sweeter, more masculine. But I would say maybe something like this. Um, you could go with the original Spice Bomb, uh, Eros, um, Ultra Male, something along those lines. Which is better, Bulgari, Marine, or Atlantique? It's been a 
long time since I smelled marine. Um, so I can't exactly say which one I would prefer just because I, you know, I, it's been a while since I've tried marine. So I don't know for sure, but I do really like Atlantique. Um, and out of all of, you know, Sauvage, Dylan Blue and all those, Atlantique is becoming one of my favorite ones just because, you know, it puts a twist on that DNA. And, all, and, you know, on my skin, it lasts even longer than Sauvage. But, yeah, it's uh, been a while since I've tried um, Marine. If you could keep only one Tom Ford fragrance in your collection. Um, well, right now I actually only have two. So, it's, <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to answer. I've got Costa Azura and I have Tobacco Oud. Um, out of those two would be Tobacco Oud. Probably I'd keep that one. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, I don't own that many, so it's, Yeah. Ever try Fierce? Yes, I have. I actually have a bottle of it. Plan on doing a video comparing real versus fake. Because if you go on eBay, there's tons of fake bottles of Fierce. So I'm going to do a video on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's a classic scent. It gets the job done. Um, need to get some artwork for your walls in your room <laughs> this is my artwork right here man got several thousand dollars worth of fragrance it looks pretty I just picked up Tom or Neroli Portofino for 40 bucks <laughs> if it's legit then yeah that's a great deal man um, I haven't tried it so yeah I don't, I'm assuming I like it um, but yeah, I mean, for forty dollars, if yeah, if it's a legit bottle, that's definitely a good deal. I found Spice Bomb Extreme to be too feminine and sweet. Is the original Spice Bomb more masculine? I would say so, definitely. Uh, the original, it's a little bit more spicy. Um, it's got more of Kind of a, I don't want to say generic. I mean, I guess you could say generic, but it's got more of a, a generic masculine cologne type of smell, I guess you could say. So, yeah, I would say it's more masculine than extreme. Am I logged into my eBay account right now? Um, I could be. I saw I got an order a couple minutes ago. Um, I could get on it if you want. Ever try Fougere Royale by Habigant? Also, what's your take on Bois de Portugal? I haven't actually tried either of those, so I can't help you there at all. <laughs> um, I've actually been on the fence about just getting Bois de Portugal just because it's one of the few creeds I don't have. I um, mean, it would get me closer to completing my collection. I just haven't gotten around to it. Lotus Save by Issy Miyake. Yeah, man, it's a good one. I love it. Really aware I just have it just because it's a classic. Excuse me. I feel like everyone should have a bottle of uh, Lotus Say. Best of Moogler. I think probably Pure Malt. Don't like OG. Yeah, probably Pure Malt or Van. Those are really good. Ever smell or try Tom Ford Grey Vetiver? Uh, I have. I smelled it one time at like Macy's, and it was really good. Um, I just haven't gotten around to getting a bottle. Um, pour your favorite clones. Um, pretty much anything from Alexandria. I've been really liking those. Uh, they have really solid offerings. Um. And a lot of times they put a little bit of a change on the fragrance that they're trying to clone or that they're inspired by. Um, but yeah, all the Alexandrias I've tried so far have been really good. Uh, 
I have Spice Bomb Extreme, but I like normal Spice Bomb. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with the OG. Have I tried any Slumber House? No, I have not. Been wanting to try Kissed because I've heard a lot of good things about that one. I think uh, Bradley from Triple Ink is a big fan of that one. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it mainly because they're, they're expensive and just haven't gotten around to trying them. Have samples or anything for sale to try it first before I just blind buy it. Are you going to upload winter top 10? Says, yeah, probably in November, end of November, somewhere around there. Dolce Gabbana, one EDP, or Lana Wheat alone, EDT. Uh, I guess it depends. I would say the one would be more versatile. Um, day, night, pretty much all year round. I mean, it's more suited. For, but um, I would say, yeah, if you're looking for something that's just versatile, the one would be the way. Because uh, to me, uh, Lana Wheat alone is just more of a nighttime date fragrance so it's not really as versatile ever tried owl wisdom day compared to silver mountain water i have not um have not tried that for men og versus coach i haven't tried platinum yet i actually just closed the split on it and i ordered the bottle so it'll be here soon so uh yeah, until I get that, I'm not for sure. I'm going to do a review on Platinum once I get it. Um, but I've heard it's really good stuff. I've gotten two bottles of Emerald Isle by Parfums Vintage. The first bottle was very strong. Do newly bottled bottles take time to mature? I need about a month, like a few weeks to a month or... Uh, so, yeah, that could be the case. Just give it some time to sit. Do I think the Aventus Cologne is real? Also, what would you like to see Creed make next? Um, yeah, I, I think it's real. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it's... I'm assuming it is because it's not for Grantica. Um, they'd be... They would have messed up pretty bad if they... Uh, you know, if that wasn't real and they put it on there, a bunch of hype. Um, as far as what I would like to see Creed make next, I don't know, man. I mean, I really like Viking, um, so I'm not necessarily disappointed in that. But I would like to see it go back to making some sort of marine, kind of like an aquatic marine, um, just because that's what they do best, right? That's, I mean, they have very few... Uh, sweeter scent, Ute, Tabarome, uh, Viking, Bois de Portugal. That's pretty as far, you know, as their normal line as far as, and the majority of them are fresh. So I would like to see them go back to that. Um, one of my favorites that is overlooked is Erolfa. So maybe, you know, it'd be nice to see them kind of get inspired by that type of scent to make something um like that. But I mean, I feel like there's only so much you can do with fresh aquatic scents. So, I mean, I don't know. Rose Flame, Thoughts. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it whenever it's released. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see how it's going to be. See, what's up, John? I'm good, man. How are you? I forgot what Aqua de Joe ascends us smells like, but would I compare it to? I would compare it, um, I mean, I would just compare it to the regular Aqua de Joe and then just um, say that's basically a little woodsy. It's got a little bit more of a floral touch to it. And to me, it just is a little bit more like outdoorsy smelling, like the original Aqua de Joe, very aquatic, very fresh. Profumo has that aquatic um, scent to it, um, but Ascenza is a little bit more woodsy, got a little bit more of like almost an herbal type of scent to it, um, 
and it's just kind of a little bit different take on the original that's a lot better than original those i still prefer pro fumo but yeah i mean the sense is still pretty good See, Richard says, this live video is dope. Thanks for this. I could be watching the World Series, but this is very informative to me. Yeah, man, I'm glad you're liking it, dude. Anyone else catch a fishy smell from ADG Absolute? I personally haven't smelled Absolute at all, so I don't personally know. But I have heard that you know certain people will get like a fishy smell from certain like aquatic or marine scents. Like I've heard that uh, from... I've heard people say that about Aqua Atlantique and Victus Aqua, that they get a fishy smell. Um, I've never gotten that, but I guess it's just like a skin chemistry thing. What is my most regretted fragrance purchase? Um, probably Mansara Aoud Line. It's just this really heavy nasty smelling oud fragrance that i didn't like at all and that was pretty gross do i feel diffuse essential oils in your room i don't but i've been meaning to pick up a diffuser off of like amazon uh, probably what i would end up doing with it is diffuse fragrances like i've heard you know people will just fill it up with water and then write like a fragrance in it, and then it makes your room smell like that so that's probably what i would do with it um if i were to leave will um, but yeah, at some point, is better Ascenza or Profumo? Uh, yeah, Profumo. Chaos, Brute, or Old Spice, which one would you wear if I had to? <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Probably, uh, uh, that's tough. Probably just Old Spice, I would say. I haven't smelled old spice on anyone in a while to be honest with you as crazy as that sounds but i haven't smelled old spice on any older guys not them around older guys that often but yeah i'd probably just go with old spice would you sell decant of joe profumo on ebay i would yeah i think i did at some point i don't know i guess the listing might not be there anymore um but yeah, I think I do have enough to where I can sell you one if you want. Um, yeah, I can list that tonight if you want, man. Thoughts on YSL EDP? Um, are you talking about YSL Y EDP? Um, if that's the case, I haven't tried it. I've tried the original YSL Y, and that was good. I um, mean, very clean, easy to wear uh, scent very nice opening it's got a very juicy citrusy opening um but yeah i haven't tried the edp which is a better versatile and long-lasting scent schnaller home sport oak stream or blue de chanel edp longevity and projection is important um i would say probably just blue de chanel that's one of the most versatile sense you can get i mean it works for literally anything i mean both are versatile um a little sport oh extreme very versatile um so i mean i guess you could go with either one just you know smell them both and pick which one you like but i would say generally blue to chanel would be more versatile um as far as projection longevity goes i personally get better performance out of a little sport oh extreme so i mean yeah i it's kind of a toss-up, I guess, and skin chemistry has a lot to do with it. Thoughts on Dolce Gabbana Light Blue? I like it. Uh, it's a good one. I have, like, a very small amount left in my bottle, so I probably will get another one next year. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. Will you sell YSL Edition Art? Um, probably not, um, just because I only have one bottle. I plan on keeping that. I thought about grabbing another bottle or two, but again, realistically, I'm not going to go through 100 mil. And, you know, I can just wear the 2016 for most of the time because I've got, you know, half a 200 mil of the 2016. I've got 
a little bit of the OG vintage and I've got that full edition art. So I'm probably just going to keep it all for myself anyway. I might sell some uh, decants maybe. Let's see, Martin, how much for five mil uh, Profumo? That would be 10 bucks. I can't wear Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, or Versace Dental Blue. They all smell amazing in bottle. It's my skin. I smell frozen fish sticks. Just body chemistry. Some people can't wear everything. Yeah, man. Some people, you know, with fresh fragrances, they just don't work on them. Thoughts on Prada Luna Rosa Sport? Uh, I haven't tried that one. YSLY EDP is really good. I get a punch of lime in the opening. Great stuff. He's on my anniversary last month. Nice, man. Um, I do like limes. That piques my interest. Um, I think lime is an underutilized note. I mean, you get a lot of it in um, Virgin Island water. You get a lot of it in um, Tommy Bahama St. Bart's. I really like it, but I feel like not, en not enough you know, perfumers are using lime. Have I tried any Montal? I've tried a couple just from like carded samples, uh, but I don't remember um, exactly what they were, to be honest. There's so many Montals and Ma Manceras um, that it's hard for me to remember. And Montals are usually more hit or miss. I found for the most part Manceras, I've liked most of them that I've you know tried, but some of the Montals can you know just won't work for me. Luna Rosa Sport, I get a J, JPG Limal vibe to it a lot. Nice. I found that my Burberry Touch seems more versatile to me, just my personal preference. So, yeah, man. A lot of Burberry fragrances are pretty good, pretty versatile. Um, Burberry Brit, that's another really good one. What is my spray routine, skin versus clothes? Um, I just usually just spray on my skin just on my neck area, two or three sprays around there. Um, occasionally I'll spray like on my uh, shirt if it's like a really weak fragrance, uh, but most of the time it's just on skin, like three sprays. Let's see, Martin said, okay, I'll buy a five mil. All right, sounds good. If you want, you can just message me on uh, book or Instagram or something, I can just sell you one. What is going to be your three go-tos this fall Thanksgiving? Uh, probably YSL Tuxedo, um, YSL Loam, and probably Grand Soir MFK. Um, and then just a fourth one to throw in, probably Fabulous Use. That's another good one. Decant Spice Palm Extreme. I don't have any right now, um, so not at this time, but at some point, probably once we get a little bit closer to winter, I'll probably end up picking a bottle, picking up a bottle and selling some. Thoughts on Dolce Gabbana Light Blue? Yeah, it's a good one. Definitely a good one. Um, I prefer the EDP or the O Intense over the regular one, uh, but yeah, it's a good scent. Favorite Lacoste, I actually haven't tried any of them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can't help you there, man. Your decant video inspired me to make three ML decants for myself that I use when I travel. I bring almost like 12 different clones in my DOP bag in a plastic bag. So thanks for that idea. Awesome, man. Glad it's working out for you. Um, yeah, three MLs are great, uh, even two ML. I'll usually use those when I'm going places where I'm not going to bring a bottle. Just because you can get a lot of wearings out of 2ML. And like I said, if you're bringing, if you're bringing a lot like you are, that'll be plenty. Some of the Montals seem to lean, lean more feminine. The Manceras seem to be more unisex. I've only tried a few. Yeah, I would agree. A lot of the Manceras are unisex. I think actually... All of the ones I own, aside for black gold, are all uh, marketed as unisex. Um, have I tried Mark Echo Green? It's a pretty good cheap, in my opinion. 
No, I haven't. Um, I'll look into it though. Grand Square versus Fedelisius, are they pretty similar? I actually had someone ask me that the other day in a comment, and I planned on plan on doing a video on it. And it's tough because they're both really good. Uh, Fev Delicious is Tonka bean based mostly, and Grand Soir is amber based. So it really comes down to which one of those notes you prefer more. And for me, again, like I said, it's tough. I really like both of them. Both of them have this very just addictive smell to them. Um, I would say Grand Soir is more classy. Um, and I would say Fed Delicious is more, um, I don't want to say playful, but it's just, it doesn't have that classy upscale scent like Grand Soir. But with all that being said, I would probably lean towards Fed Delicious. Um, again, it's tough because they're both really good. Um, but I mean, performance wise, they're both great. Quality wise, they're both great. It really just comes down to which notes you prefer, uh, either Tonka Bean or Amber. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's hard to say. If it's easier, I'll buy a 9.99 clone on your eBay of whatever. You can just send me the five ml perfume on whichever works for you. Yeah, I could do that. Um, that works for me, man. Just make sure you put a note with it, um, saying that it's you just cause usually when I'm decanting, I get in a zone and I'd probably accidentally send you the fragrance that you order instead of profumo. So yeah, if you do that, just leave like a note with the order and I'll get you taken care of. You're going to pick up Jeremy's fragrance. I probably will as much as I like to say that I probably won't. I'm sure I will in some way or another, either get a sample of it or split it or something. Um, yeah, because I'll be curious. I want to try it. And I think he was said in his, one of his videos, um, he said that it was getting him a lot of compliments or something like that. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'll probably try to smell it one way or another. You should try out Lacoste Pour Homme if you like plum. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've actually things about just the regular Lacoste Pour Homme. And I probably will because I really do like plum and fragrances. It's definitely unique. When you look into the camera, when you're answering our questions, it makes it feel like you're actually looking at us right in the eye. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, man, it feels weird to look like as looking at the regular camera when I shoot my videos and like this is just on my laptop so I never I always remember to look up at the webcam and not at the screen so I do a little bit of both and then I have this screen here for the comments so I have to constantly be looking back and forth original curve or Calvin Klein by CK if you had to uh, probably um, just the Calvin Klein one probably is what I would pick. Let's see, I think we got. Yeah, I don't know if that was just you that ordered some, Martin. Might have been you. Have I tried Tom Ford Ombre leather? No, I have not. Um, but it has been on the list to try. I've heard that's a really good one. Um, I've heard that's one of the better releases. Um, but yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Was at Macy's the other day and tried Luna Rosa Black off the tester. And the first whiff smelled like straight alcohol. I wonder if that's how the scent was or if it's just the tester possibly. I've had that happen with a lot of fragrances. I don't know, you know, what exactly it could be. Um, I feel like I've had it happen with fragrances that were new. It's like I get a new bottle in the mail, never been sprayed, and I do the first spray and like it's just like an alcohol blast so i don't know i i doubt that that tester was new maybe it could have been um but yeah i've personally had that happen with brand new bottles um also i feel like sometimes it can just be my nose like if i've been smelling a lot of fragrances and my nose is kind of tired out or whatever and i go to spray and like a different fragrance i'll just get that alcohol blast so i feel like it could either be you know one of two things like it could be your nose canceling it out because it's just 
tired or whatever, or it could be that maybe the bottle is new and it needs to be, you know, I don't know. I'll be, I, I've had that happen also. Jeremy's fragrance sounds cool because the creator of the cologne also made Profumo. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I am interested to try it, just because of, you know, the perfumer he has. I mean, I mean, you know, it's it's going to be good, you know, no matter what. It's going to be good because the uh, perfumer is extremely talented, and Jeremy knows what he wants in a fragrance. So I, I have no doubt that's going to be good. Uh, but my question is, is it going to be another Sauvage smelling scent? which I think he said he doesn't want it to be. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm curious to try it. Do I like Prada Amber Pour Homme? I haven't actually tried that, um, so I have no idea. See, Martin just bought it and attached the message with it. All right, cool. Thanks, man. I'll get that shipped out probably tomorrow uh, or Saturday. What is my current signature scent? Uh, let's see. I would say probably CH Men. Just, uh, just CH Men. I've been reaching for this one a lot. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I've been reaching for it a lot. Um, it doesn't perform the best, but I just wear it for being, like, around the house. Um, just, uh, you know, doing whatever is when I've been... I've been doing a lot of that lately, and then therefore I've been reaching for CH Men a lot just because I really like it and it's easy to wear. Um, so, yeah, probably I would say CH Men right now because I'm wearing it a lot. Let's see, a lot of fragrances have a lot of alcohol right off, depending on how well blended it, it is as well. Yeah, that's true. Um, thanks so much for answering so many questions. Yeah, no problem. Um, appreciate you guys stopping in and asking questions, and it's a lot of fun. Your favorite Le Labo? Um, I've only tried Bergamot 22, so, you know, I can't, I mean, and I really like it, uh, but since that's the only one I've tried, I guess it would have to be my favorite for right now. Um, I don't have a bottle of it just because it's on the expensive side, and now at this point in the year, it's getting cold, so I, you know, I haven't. Uh, picked up a bottle yet, but I probably will come, you know, next spring. I will pick up a bottle and I would like to try some more Le Labos too. I, there's a new one coming out. Um, can't remember. Is it Tonka or something? Or I know there's a new one coming out. That'd be interesting in trying. Ombre leather is amazing. One spray on your skin and that's all you need. It's powerful and smells like a brand new genuine leather jacket. Dry down is a little sweet. No complaints. Sounds like good stuff, man. I'm a big fan of leather. Um, I know it gets kind of compared to Tuscan leather, which I'm a fan of, so I'm sure I would like ombre leather. Thoughts on Lana Wheat de Lome? Uh, it's great fragrance, one of the best date fragrances, in my opinion, uh, even in 2018. A lot of people say it's played out, but again, you know, where I live, I've never smelled it on anyone else. And it works for me. Yo, Mark, what's up, dude? Fragrance that blew you away, instant love at first sniff, besides Sage Mint and Fedless Hughes. Uh, the one EDP, that one blew me away. Um, Elysium, that one blew me away when I got a sample of it. Um, let's um, Oh, Diorum Intense, that was another one that uh, really blew me away when I first smelled it. So, yeah, I would say those. Um, Versace, man, I'm telling you, you got me hooked. Awesome, man, I'm glad you like it. Uh, it's great stuff, um, especially for the price, like $30, $35 for 100 mil. Um, that, along with Eau Fresh, are probably some of the best bang for your buck. You know, you have Eau Fresh for summer when it's really hot, and you have the regular... Versace man for when it's cold and again you can pick both of those up for a great price and I feel like if you're someone that only wants a couple fragrances if you just go with those two Versace's you pretty much be set for any occasion 
Sage Man Privé is great. I prefer it over the original. Sage Man is great too, though. Yeah, dude. Privé is really good stuff. I love that leather and whiskey blend. Um, I still think I prefer the original just because, you know, I don't know why. I just I like it. But, uh, yeah, both are really good. I have no CH products, but plan on getting a 3.4 tester for 40 That's a good price, dude. Really good price, actually, for... Um, you know, either one of those. And testers are the way to go for most cases um, of CH Purvé. You said, yeah, that's a really good price, dude. 100 ml bottle for $40 of that stuff, that's really good. Um, but yeah, testers are the way to go. Especially, I think, with the Purvé bottles, I'm assuming that it would have the cap anyway since the cap is, like, connected uh, via that hinge. So I'm assuming it would be good. Oh, what's up, Steve? See, Mark, I'll send you some Ombre Leather 18 to hear your review. That'd be awesome, dude. I'd appreciate that. That'd be great. I just smelled Parfums de Marley Carlisle, and it was love at first sniff for me. I rarely ever feel that. I've heard a lot of good things about uh, Carlisle. I haven't tried it myself. Dolce Gabbana light blue intense versus the one EDP. I would probably say the one, uh, just because, mainly just because of you know it was one of my first sweeter designer fragrances. Because when I started out, I started out with like freshies and stuff, and the one is what really got me hooked. So I'd probably say that one, uh, but both are really good. <laughs> Which ladies' perfumes get you rock hard ready? <laughs> Honestly, man, I really know like nothing about women's perfumes. Like if you ask me to name some, like, yeah, I mean, so I don't know. I just don't know enough about, um, you know, perfumes for women. Um, I don't really smell perfumes on women that much either, funnily enough. So, I, yeah, I have no idea. Any recommendations for a fragrance that has a mild pine smell? Not in your fit or not in your grandfather's cologne, but something a little more modern. I would say a good one would be uh, Royal Mayfair by Creed. This one has a uh, pine, eucalyptus, gin, and it's. I would say it smells like father. Um, but this this one definitely, I would say, grab a sample of this. Um, I've been I'm kind of iffy about this one. I really like the dry down, like the dry down smells good. Um, but the opening, I'm not the hugest fan of, and it kind of puts me off. And because of that reason, I haven't gotten a bottle of it. And again, this is one of the few creeds I don't own a bottle of. But yeah, I would say definitely try out uh, Royal Mayfair, um, and I probably will get a bottle of it at some point just because. It has been growing on me, um, but yeah, I would say try that out. Um, another one would be, I actually don't really think I have any other others in my collection that I can think of. Yeah, I don't know, man. I would say maybe uh, Van Cleef and Arpels Tar. Um, that might be a good one, but uh yeah, I would definitely say check out Royal Mayfair. It is a little bit more expensive um, being a niche fragrance, but as far as creeds go, I think it's actually one of the cheaper creeds. Um, you can pick up, last time I saw, you could pick up 100 mils for like $140 or 120 mils for like $140. So yeah, I would try Royal Mayfair. Do I think Creed, Green Irish Tweed, and Milsim Imperial are worth such high prices? The smell is good, but the performance is very weak. Personally, those are, eh, I could do without both of those. I have them both for the collection, but Milsim Imperial, I didn't really reach for that much, mainly because of the performance. Uh, Green Irish Tweed didn't really reach for that much either. Um, Green Irish Tweed actually performs good on me, but just it's just something I don't reach for. Um, 
Aspen is a good cheapie that has a pine feel to it. It's very foresty. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be a good one. Let's see, Jesse, wannabe question or <laughs> random question. Favorite creed that's not Aventus? Um, I would say probably, probably Viking. I would say Viking um, or Green Valley. That one's discontinued, so it's kind of um, – it sucks that's discontinued. But I would say probably Viking right now just because how easy it is to wear uh, performs great. Um, so, yeah, I would say Viking. See, Pinot Sylvester. Yeah, that would be a good one for a pine scent. Thanks for the advice, man. Appreciate it and really enjoy these live streams. Yeah, no problem, dude. I'm glad it's helping you. Um, it's a lot of fun doing these, answering your guys' questions. Creed Original Vetiver versus Tom Ford Gray Vetiver. Um, it's been a while since I've smelled Gray Vetiver. Like I said, I smelled it at that Macy's like a while ago. Um, but I would say... Probably gray vetiver just because it's a little bit more affordable. Um, I really like original vetiver, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like you would be just as good going for a gray vetiver. Any new reviewers that you like? Honestly, man, I haven't really been watching too many reviews um, and from quite a bit of them just because they would literally take up my whole YouTube. I really don't like to sit around and watch fragrance reviews, you know, all day when I'm looking for YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, new reviewers, I'm not for sure. Thoughts on Paco Rabanne, 1 million lucky, too sweet. I actually haven't tried it, um, but from what I've heard, it's pretty good. Um, wasn't super impressed with Viking. It's good, but I don't think it's worth the price tag. Green Irish Tree is my all-time favorite. Yeah, I would agree, man. I mean, no Creed is worth the price tag, in my opinion. Um, so, I mean, yeah. Um, I really like Viking, mainly just because I got it for a steal, so I can wear it and you know not have to worry too much about because I spent a ton of money on it that I have to conserve it. But yeah, I mean, for the price I got it for, um, I'm definitely really happy with it. Extremely versatile. It's one of the more versatile creeds there is. Um, performs really good. But yeah, it's definitely not for everyone. It's got kind of an old spice, old school type of smell. But it's a little bit modern too. Um, yo, what's up, Lewis? Let's see, Carlos. Let's see. Ken Schuler, Sergio. Cicini style pine and tobacco fresh scent. Haven't heard of that at all, to be completely honest. What do I think of 24 gold? I've never actually tried it. I never really bought into the hype when it was getting hyped up back in the day. Uh, so yeah, I've never tried it. See, I like Viking. It's like a fresher and more modern Old Spice. Yeah, I'd agree 100%. Um, yeah, I'd agree 100% with that. More modern Old Spice. Um, I don't think it's worth the price, even at discounted. Yeah, even at discounters, it's still extremely high. And that's why I get so much hate is because of not only the retail, but now even that's at discounters, it's still, I think it's even more expensive than Aventus still, which discounter prices on like Aventus it aren't that good to begin with. You can pick up new bottles of Aventus for like $225 or so on Facebook. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you can score Viking for like under, I would say, oh, I don't know, under $200 for 100 mil, I think it's worth it. 
I got my bottle uh, for like $150 for 100 mil. That was missing a few sprays. Um, and that's, I mean, yeah, if you can get it for a good price, it's definitely worth it. But, you know, paying almost $300 at like discounters, it's not worth it at that price. See, Jesse said, top three winter frags to smash guts. So definitely Feb Delicious would be one. Um, Grand Soir um, over here. And let's see. Probably Replica by the Fireplace. That's one that I've been forgetting about, mainly because I feel like it's more of a winter scent. We're not really in winter yet, so I haven't been wearing it. Uh, so yeah, I would say those are my top three, but it's going to be changing. I'm, you know, I'm going to be getting uh, some more winter frags here soon. Uh, Oud Wood, Tom Ford, I'm going to be getting that one. Um, tobacco Vani, uh, Roja Creation E, um, all of those. Plan on getting at some point, so then my list will change. Let's see Paris, have a good night, brother. You too, man. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, if Viking was 140 for 100 mil, I would buy it. Yeah, and that's essentially what happened with me. Like I said, I got it for like 150 for 100 mil, and I wasn't even, I didn't even pay any attention to Viking. You know, I wasn't looking for trying to get a bottle. I wasn't, you know, interested in getting a sample. But, you know, when I saw that deal come up, I'm like, you know, I knew I would be kicking myself if I didn't buy it at that price. So I ended up buying it, and I knew that even if I didn't like it for whatever reason, I could sell it and get make even money make money off of it if i wanted to or just sell some decants and break even easily and here i am i've sell, sold like one decan i'm keeping the rest for myself because i really like it uh but yeah if you're looking for viking just keep you know keep looking on the groups i'm sure you'll find something grand soir i really want to try that one how would you describe the amber note in that one uh it's hard to say because i'm not you know, I haven't smelled that many amber-based fragrances, so I can't really compare it. Um, but I would definitely describe it as a little bit powdery. It's got a little bit of a powder, and that could also be from the tonka bean that's in this one, uh, and also the benzoin, uh, which is another prominent note. But, um, yeah, I don't know, a little bit powdery, um, a little bit creamy as well. And overall, it's just very upscale smelling. Uh, very similar to Creed Royal Oud. Not saying they smell similar, but Royal Oud kind of has that upscale uh, smell to it. Um, yeah, not the best to describe that note specifically. Um, is it smooth or dark? I would say it's more smooth, definitely more smooth. Just recently starting my frag journey, but the parfums to Marley and niche stuff seems really nice. What's your favorite niche house or what? what's a niche house you would recommend for a noob? So I would say two great niche houses to start out with would be Creed and Mansara. I personally, my first niche fragrance was uh, Cedrat Boise by Mansara. Um, that's where I started out and it got me into the whole thing. Um, and then I started with Creed shortly after. I think I started with, I think my first one might have been Aventus, then I went Melissima Imperial, Virgin Island Water, and just worked my way. But yeah, um, Mansara or Creed, both are great places to start. And I've uh, found that, especially with Creeds, they're a lot of fun to collect. And I guess that could be different for everyone. Um, but for me, there's just something that was fun about you know collecting Creeds, uh, trying to find different batches, and trying to find you know, older bottles and just, you know, stuff like that. I found it fun. Um, another good one to start out with would be MFK. I've got a number of MFK frags here. Um, Aqua Vitae, Baccarat Rouge 540 Masculine Purell, uh, Petite Matan. Um, those are great ones. Um, so, yeah, I would say one of those three, Mansara, Creed, MFK. Those would be great places to start. Um if you consider Tom Ford private blend niche, you could go there. Um, so yeah, I would say something like that. 
love the video you did with by the fireplace and strong with you they're they are very similar not exact but similar everyone should go check that video out appreciate it uh, i'm glad i'm not the only one that thought that um because when i first got by the fireplace and i sprayed it it re immediately reminded me of something and i didn't really make the connection right away until i was just looking at my collection and i happened to pick up stronger with you and it made that connection in my head i'm like wow these are actually similar and a lot of it was that chestnut note um but yeah i'm glad you liked the video hopefully it you know shines some light on the fact that they are similar uh stronger with you more affordable a little bit more wearable uh but no excuse me but by the fireplace definitely um is more of a personal fragrance and like the name implies it really smells like that and uh not as wearable What are my worst blind buys and why? To be honest, man, I really haven't had that many bad blind buys. Um, there was a couple Mancera's that I blind bought and didn't like. Uh, so that goes um, to the person that asked about getting started with niche. And I said, Mancera, I still recommend you to sample. You can get discovery sets and you know sample all of them. Uh, but yeah, there was a couple Mancera's that I did not like. One of them was AU Line. Um, shout out to Jesse if he's still in here. I sold that to him, and also uh, Aude or uh, yeah Aude, so blue. I didn't really like that one either. Or no, maybe or not. I'm sorry, not so blue. It was Blue Notes, uh, Aude Blue Notes. I think it was that I didn't like. Let's see, because I have a sample of. I don't know if Jesse's in here. Jesse, what was the one you sent me that I liked? Was it so blue? I think that's what it was. But yeah, Aud line and Aud blue notes. I think didn't like either one of those, um, and I ended up selling them. Yeah, no problem, Marvin. Thanks for stopping in, man. See, John says Draboise. I know this is sacrilege, but I prefer it over Aventus, and a lot of people do. Um, again, Bradley from Triple Ink. I know he says Sadrat over Aventus any day. And both are great. I mean, they are very different to my nose. I really wouldn't compare them uh, like a lot of other people do. But I mean, yes, uh, Sidrat is great. It's still one of my favorite Manceras out of all the ones I've tried. Even having Aventus, and I still really like Sidrat. Um, but yeah, it's great stuff. Durum O or Prada Loam, Loam O. Yeah, I prefer Durum O, mainly just because... Um, just works better on my skin. It's cheaper, um, well, more inexpensive, I guess I should say. Um, yeah, I prefer Duromo. Any bond number nine faves? I've only tr uh, tried a handful. They yeah, have tried. I treat them out. I'll probably get a bottle of it next spring. I didn't even know that Stronger With You was similar to By the Fireplace. I've been wanting to get By the Fireplace. Yeah, man, definitely similar, that uh, vanilla and chestnut mixture. Um, definitely makes them similar. So if you've tried uh, Strong With You, then you have a general idea of how they compare. Um, again, Strong With You, or I'm sorry, By the Fireplace is more niche smelling. Um, it's more smells like what the name implies, By the Fireplace. Um, Jesse said, yeah, that one smells like a sexy band-aid. So Blue is the one I sent. Yeah, so I like So Blue. That one's good. Um, but Blue Notes, I did not like. And then, again, same with A Line. Um, I know Jesse likes it. I personally don't like it. Um, but maybe, you know, in the future I would like it because that was when I was kind of first starting out. Um, I bought that off of Notino. Actually, I think I bought both of them from Notino when they were uh, closing down because they had them for like $50 for 120 mil. And at that price, I'm like, you know, screw it. I'll just buy them and try them, I guess. And didn't like them. Um, man, Sarah's a great niche house. Long lasting, good sense. Yeah, man, definitely. Um, have a lot of good bangers, but they also have some that don't work with me. Um, 
but yeah, like Sicily, that's a really good one. It's overlooked. Um, yeah. Let's see, DB and Aventus have a similar vibe. The DB is creamier, not smoky. They serve the same use, but are different fragrances. as CB. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they do have a similar vibe. They are fruity and woody. Um, but to me, excuse me, Sidrat is a little bit more of like a fruity pebbles, like sweet citrus fruit. Um, whereas Aventus is more, a lot of times more of a sharp uh, citrus, less creamy. Um, yeah, I mean, are in a similar ballpark, but different enough that's worth owning both. I'm going to wear a line to bed now. <laughs> Go for it, man. As long as it's not shown back up in my house. That stuff just... Mm. Not a fan. Because I did, when I first got it, I sprayed like one spray, like on my blanket or something. And like the whole room smelled like that for such a long time. And it, yeah, not a fan at all. <clears throat> Hey, bro, best alternative to Invictus Aqua 2016. 2018 doesn't convince me. Probably Rasasi Hawis. Um, I would say go for that. Um, the ADP Blue Mediterranean is pretty good. We are huge fan of Aqua Vibes. Fave Creed Royal exclusives or less exclusive. I enjoy Spice and Wood. Spice and Wood I really, really like a lot. And it sucks because of how expensive it is and the fact that it really doesn't perform the best on my skin. Um, I have a carded sample of it somewhere. And I really do enjoy Spice and Wood a lot. In fact, I've been tossing around the idea of getting a bottle. But again, because it's so expensive, I've just been putting it off. But yeah, Spice and Wood is great. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of Royal Oud. But again, I prefer Spice and Wood over Royal Oud. But yeah, that one's really good. I'm going to wear 14 sprays for the print meet and greet. Yeah, dude, if you wear 14 sprays of Oud line to that thing, I'll be able to smell you from like two miles away, man. Then I'll know to go in the opposite direction so I don't have to smell it. That weird Kanye West fragrance smells so much like Aqua 2016 for 15 bucks. Yeah, I haven't even smelled the Kanye West fragrance. So I have no idea. But I know another alternative to that is uh, one of the English laundry fragrances. I think Cambridge Night. I think that's the one that smells like Invictus Aqua 2016. Now, a lot of people have said it's even better. I haven't tried it, so I don't know. But yeah, it's another one to try. It would be uh, uh, I think it's Cambridge Night by English Laundry. Let's see, how many sprays of 2016 Lana Wheat Alone do you spray and wear? Usually, I do around three to four sprays. Funny story, when I wore that the first time on a date, I did like five sprays because see, here's the thing. You can't let people get in your head and tell you that fragrances suck and performance is bad and watered down. So here I was the first time wearing Lana Wheat on a date. I did like five or six sprays. I did like three around the neck and a couple on my like shirt. And I show up and like she said something like, I don't remember what she said, but basically alluding to the fact that I had way too much cologne on. And again, it's, it settled down towards the end because I sprayed that on before going, and it was like a half hour drive, and it was still going strong. So towards the end of the date, and you know whatever, it settled down to the point where it wasn't an issue. But yeah, j that just goes to show that you can still overspray with the new Invi uh, or not Invictus Aqua, this new Lana Wheat. You can still overspray, and it can be way too strong. So that's just something to keep in mind. So yeah. Um, I would go with like three sprays. I wouldn't go too much more because it is still 
can be plenty strong. Uh, so it's learn from my mistakes. Um, what do you prefer, Dior Sauvage or Prada Luna Rosa Carbon? Um, I still prefer, it's kind of a 50-50. I prefer the performance of Sauvage, but I really like the smell of Luna Rosa Carbon a little bit better. Um, but in most cases, I would just reach for Sauvage just because that's one of the main reasons I like it so much just because of how long it lasts. I can just spray it on at the start of my day and then not have to worry about performance at all for the rest of the day, and it just gets me through the day and does what I want as a dumb reach fragrance. So I would still just go with Sauvage personally. People keep talking about how Woody Royal Oud is and somewhat I love it but it wasn't what I expected yeah I mean you know it's skin chemistry thing the main player to me is definitely the cedar wood um, I get a little bit of oud which is probably the medicinal thing you're smelling um, in the background it's like a fresh oud not um, you know too barnyardy smelling but uh yeah I mean that I mean that mixed with the spices from it that's a nice scent but yeah Let's see, hold up a fragrance bottle with the label facing away and the first person to guess the correct name wins that bottle. <laughs> you want me to do it with like a Ventus or something like that so you guys can cop a free bottle? So many girls are used to dudes that don't wear any fragrance at all so they can get overpowered easily, I find. Yeah, that's definitely could happen. Um, and you know, it's something that I probably deal with a lot here like no dudes wear uh, cologne or fragrance. So it probably comes as a, as a surprise to them for one when, you know, I roll up with a fragrance on and then the fact that it was oversprayed, she's probably kind of confused. So it's probably a good or bad thing. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, some people don't realize what is what they can smell themselves and not what they can smell. I go as nausea to Savage quickly because of the pepper, but I know it's still there. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, yeah, well, factory fatigue is a real thing. It's something that I talk about all the time. Aventus, Savage, Atlantic, all those types of fragrances, I get olfactory fatigue extremely quickly and can't smell it, but other people can. Uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 is another one where, like, two sprays literally fills a room at least with my skin chemistry, but I won't be able to smell a thing. So certain fragrances like that, I don't know if it's like high ISO E super or like ambergris and broxin. I feel like it's a mixture of some of that. That is what causes that for me. But yeah, for sure, man. Royal Oud was a like I love. Lomani Black Intense was good enough for me. Spicy Woody Medicinal. I'll have to try that one, man. Um, yeah, Royal Oud is kind of, it's love or hate for me. Well, I don't want to say love or hate, but there. I feel like I had to be in the mood to wear Royal Oud. Um, I feel like if I had if I had Spice and Wood, I would reach for that one more than Royal Oud. Um, but yeah. I should do another collection video. I actually will um, at some point, probably next month maybe. Um, I think the last time I did a collection video was, I want to say, in what, January or February? Um, if anyone remembers or you can look on my channel, I don't know. So I've been trying to wait, you know, as long as I can to make it closer to a year. Um, but yeah, I would say in a month or so I'm probably going to do another collection video. I also want to do a, a most complimented list because last year I uploaded it, I think, on the 17th of October or maybe 14th or I don't know. So I am past of when I did it last year. So coming up soon, I am going to do a complimented, have the list done like on my notes. It's typed up. It's just a matter of me actually recording it. Um, but yeah, those are a couple of videos I have planned soon. When I receive the 5 ml I purchased, I'm going to send you a few samples of things you haven't tried, like Bath and Body Works, Mahogany Woods, 
Victoria's Secret very sexy for him and English laundry. Appreciate that, man. That's awesome of you, dude. And I can cover shipping if you want. Um, it's not an issue. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, especially with uh, Mahogany Woods. I think we talked about that last live stream. Uh, I've been meaning, someone said that it's been brought back, uh, which I still haven't uh, looked at, but if it has been brought back and I like that sample, then I'll probably get a bottle. Um, Thirty-three people here, twelve likes. Make sure to give Chaos a big thumbs up on these live chats. <laughs> Appreciate it, Mark. Appreciate it. Some fragrances you enjoy, but others around you don't. So that's a good question. Um, I would say one that comes to my head right away would be um, uh, by the fireplace. Again, I've worn that one around family, and it's it can be divisive. I mean, people. And actually something that my mom said about it, she liked the scent, but she didn't understand why some would want to smell like that. You know, it's, you know, I mean, it, it makes sense when you think about it. To the average person, they aren't going to want to smell like burning wood, you know. Um, so I would say that would be one. Um, another one, um, tobacco oud. That one would be one that I know not everyone likes. Um, it has a little bit of an animalic vibe and then you have the uh tobacco and the oud mixing so yeah tobacco oud would be one another one <clears throat> do i frag my car and if so with what usually i'll spray like nautica voyage in there i had like one of those uh cheap travel atomizers of voyage in there to use but it ended up leaking everywhere and now i don't have it yeah, something like Nautica Voyage or something cheap and fresh. I'll take care of shipping. I went in the bath and body works and they said Mahogany Wood is not brought back, unfortunately. I appreciate that, man. And that sucks about how it's not brought back. I um, guess I could, if I end up liking I guess I could go with the bottle off of eBay if it's not too ridiculously priced. Um, if I had to choose between Azara Wanted by Night or Monte Copro Fumo, one million per bay or Spice Bomb Extreme, I would probably go with um, probably Spice Bomb Extreme. I feel like that one is the most unique out of those. Um, not just the one that I would go with personally my signature scent this summer was your car scent <laughs> I mean it's still good stuff man I mean alright Mark see you later dude yeah I saw uh I got the money from you on PayPal, so appreciate that, man. How long have we been going for? I think we've been going for a couple hours now, something like that. So, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, um, let me know. Probably going to wrap this up. Last time we went for like three hours, and that was pretty long. All right, see you, Lewis. Thanks for stopping by, man. Anyone know when Ashton is coming back? I don't. I've talked to him a few times, and he said he plans on coming back um, at some point, but I'm not for sure when. It says 109 minutes ago. Okay, so 
excuse me. So we've been going for a while. Thanks for these videos. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for stopping by. Forward to the next one. Yeah. I mean, if maybe I can start doing these every Thursday night because I think, what was it? Not last Thursday, but Thursday before I think I did one. Or I don't remember when the last time I did one. I know it was a Thursday night. So yeah, maybe it can be a Thursday night regular thing. See. I had a five mil of Virgin Island water. My wife loved it. Is it really? Is that really a unisex cologne? If not, then oh well. Definitely unisex. I would, yeah, definitely unisex. Um, and some might even say it actually leans feminine because uh, it does have very prominent like you know tanning lotions and things like that that you know a lot of women like to use. So yeah, I would say definitely unisex. Again, some might say it leans feminine. I would say it's pretty much cut right down the line. Um, as far, I mean, it just to me, it just smells like a tropical scent. Um, doesn't matter if you're a guy or girl. Um, really appreciate these live streams. Awesome, man. I'm glad you like them. All right, Carlos, I'll see you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Good vid. Remember to do fave clothes to wear to the strip club. I'll see what I can come up with, man. I bought her a 10 mil and she used it quite a bit in the summer. Yeah, for sure, man. I was going to say, if you haven't tried on, uh, or if you haven't tried Set Sail St. Bart's by Tommy Bahama, definitely try that one. That one to me is more masculine than uh, Virginella Water. I actually have it right down here. Um, and this, you know, this is like a $20 fragrance, but, uh, you know, this is one of my favorites for uh, summer. Um, and again, it gets compared to Virgin Isle Water. They're in the same ballpark, but not really similar smelling, you know, as far as scent goes. Uh, but I definitely recommend trying that one. Where's the thumbs down on here? I, I don't know, man. Hopefully you haven't. Thumbs down it. Not that you would ever dislike videos. Virgin Isle Water is a great fragrance. Yes, Tim Parts is excellent. It has about the same performance. Yeah, both perform about the same, which is sad when you think about it because Virgin Isle Water is like $400 retail and St. Bart's is like $20 discounted. I'm sure they retail for like $80 or whatever stupid price Tom Bahamas retail for. But yeah. Um, really enjoy both. See, Martin said, I have not, I have seen it at Marshall's for cheap. I'll give it a shot. Definitely give it a shot, man. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Um, and again, it'd be a great, um, you know, it'd go great. You know, if your wife is wearing Virgin Isle water, you wear St. Bart's, go great together. Um, definitely a really good one. Does Aventus really make girls weak at the knees? You said so earlier, and a bunch of girls have said this before, too. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I, it, it depends. It depends on the girl. If she, with Aventus, I found that you either get girls that really, really like it or that they just don't really, you know, they could care less about it. So if you get a girl that really likes it, um, then, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it could. Um, a lot of it also has to do with just, you know, your personality and your, you know, how how you carry yourself and just overall attraction. If you're like, I don't know, if there's not really much attraction there and you're just like wearing a Ventus, I don't think it's going to do much for you. But if you're, you know, got attraction with this girl and she really likes the fragrance, then yeah, definitely. And I feel like that can go with, a lot of fragrances if it's a good fragrance that she likes and she's already into you that's just going to help the situation more virgin oil water is an edp and st bart's is an edc yeah man that's what i'm saying 
I feel like even if uh, Virgin Isle water was like an extrait, it still wouldn't last that long. All right, guys, I think I'm going to start to wrap things up just so we don't get into the three-hour territory like last time. So if you guys have any last-minute questions, let me know. I hate to go to sleep away, so have a good one right for the next video and live stream. All right, man, thanks for stopping in. Um, next video will probably be Saturday. Um, next live stream, I'll probably do do another one next Thursday or whatever. So, yeah, appreciate you stopping in, man. Glad you're joining the videos. All right, you guys. See you two later. Appreciate you stopping in. Favorite Guerlain. Out of – there's a lot of Guerlains I haven't tried. I want to try some of their higher end, like um, – their higher end ones, but just from their you know regular ones I've tried, uh, probably Guerlain Om Lo Boise. I really like that one a lot. Um, uh, that was a really good one. I really like that one. It has like a grassy type of smell with it. Um, but yeah, probably Lo Boise. All right, good night, Jesse. See you later, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Do I have John Vervais Artisan Blue or Artisan Aqua? I had Artisan Aqua, but I ended up swapping it for something else. But I really liked um, Artisan Aqua a lot. Um, re really good scent. It actually really impressed me because I got it for like $20 off of eBay for the 100 mil because you can get those for almost next to nothing. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. But yeah, Artisan, Artisan Aqua really enjoyed it. Um, and at some point, I probably will end up picking up more of, you know, the artisan fragrances. Um, but, yeah, that was a really good one. I haven't tried artisan blue. Um, I've tried artisan pure, and I like that one. It's grown on me. I wasn't the hugest fan at first. Um, if you look at my review, I wasn't, you know, too into it. But now I like it a little bit more. In the same now, favorite man, Sarah. Uh, my favorite man, Sarah, probably just the Drap Boise. If I had to pick one, got uh, really good stuff. Uh, where do I live? I live in Illinois, central Illinois. Ever tried Perry Ellis M, Ed Hardy Love and Luck, Thallium Sport, Armani Mania? I've tried Ed Hardy Love and Luck. I actually gave my bottle to my cousin because she wore that fragrance exclusively and I picked it up just at like uh, Marshall's or um, TJ Maxx or something just on the cheap but yeah I ended up giving it away just because I have Millicima Imperial and I didn't really need it but yeah it was a really good one What do I think of Lana Wheat to Loam Intense? Haven't actually tried it. Haven't tried it. Um, been wanting to, though, because I've heard it's good. I've heard some people say it's a lot better than, you know, the regular one. And I've heard some people say they didn't like it. From what I've heard, it has, like, more of a powdery, even more so of a powdery smell than the regular. So I would be curious to try it. Armani Code versus Profumo. Also, Ever Smelled B Man. I would probably pick from those two, probably Profumo. And I have not smelled B Man or B Men. Just try out Sage Men today, and I agree with you. It smells great. Yeah, man. Really good stuff. One of my top, probably, yeah, it's definitely in my top five designers, maybe even top three. My wife thinks Perry LSM smells like sweaty old man balls. Not kidding, her words. Wow, man. 
Um, yeah, like I said, I haven't tried it. I think, isn't that one compared to like Chanel Allure Ohm or something like that? Um, but yeah, that's not good, dude. Not good at all. Are you talking about the new formulation of CH Men or the Vintage? I'm not sure if you're talking to me or uh, Brian, but I personally just have the Vintage. Um, still haven't tried the new stuff, which I will. I will get a bottle at some point to do a video on. <clears throat> Do I have a Fragrantica or Parfumo profile? Yeah, I have a Fragrantica one. I don't have a Parfumo one. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember that video, Richard. Yeah, Jeremy gets upset when people uh, dislike his uh, baby Lana Wheat alone. What do I think of Tobacco Nui by Atelier? Have not tried it. Ever tried Armani Mania? I have not, no. Have not. All right, I think I'm going to cut it off here, guys. Um, I've been going for like two hours or so. So, um, appreciate everyone coming in, watching this one. Um, probably going to try to do another one, probably just say next Thursday. Try to get in like a routine of doing them. Uh, Thursday night, uh, something like that. Can y'all see another set of corrupted Steve Randy to be a niche nerd? He used to be such a nice designer cologne guy. Yeah, man, I mean, I know I sent Steve a ton of uh, niche fragrances. I sent him like Elysium, uh, Back Rouge 540, and a few others. Um, and I mean, I was the same way, man. I mean, like, I don't even know. I can't remember exactly when I started getting into niche, but yeah, I mean, I was the same way. I had no idea about niche and, you know, I always wanted to try a bunch and I wanted to see what all the hype was about. So I just sent him a bunch of uh, niche samples and he's been liking them. So yeah, I'm always about, you know, helping people out. Yo, Carlos, what's up, man? Good to see you stopping in, dude. See, you should set a schedule like 9 p.m., 10 p.m. EST office hours. I should, man. I should. Um, I'll uh, I'll see what I can do as long as I can stick to the schedule. Um, and I also don't want these to get boring. Like, you know, I feel like there's only so many questions people can ask before you know it gets boring. So let me guys know if you guys if this starts to get boring, let me know. Um, I won't be offended. Um, maybe I can try to find some other things to do during the live stream other than just questions because I feel like people might get bored of questions um, or I can just try to have more people on um, some other reviewers and stuff have them on too so yeah just let me know guys if you want to see anything specific during these live streams um, or if they just get boring and you want me to stop I can, <laughs> I can stop um, You need to make trivia or make it like a talk show. I would. I would like to do that. I would like to have like a uh, <clears throat> like a podcast type of setup. Um, I've been watching or listening to a lot of podcasts lately. So I feel like at some point I would like to get like a good microphone because right now you guys are listening to me off my crappy computer microphone. So I apologize for that. If the audio and um, video looks bad. 
it sounds bad that's why so at some point i'm gonna you know um get like a good microphone like a studio microphone uh find a way to uh you know like get my camera to record it instead of my webcam because this looks like crap so as this as time goes on you know i'm going to try to upgrade the whole live stream thing and i also like i said my last couple videos you've seen they've been inside because i'm going to be trying to set up a uh you know um studio this because I want it to look a little bit more professional. Like I love doing the outside videos, but I just don't feel like they look as professional as like people with, you know, a set, like a studio. And not only that, cause it's also getting cold. I just don't want to be out there in the freezing temperatures when it, you know, this winter. So I'm going to be trying to upgrade everything, get some, uh, nice, uh, production value in here. Always interested in hearing from you guys, my favorite viewers off the cuff. Yeah, it's awesome, man. I'm glad I make it in the list of uh, your favorites, or hopefully I am. How many fragrance bottles do I have? Um, around 100, give or take 5 or 10, somewhere around there. I haven't counted. Um, yeah, on my Fragrantica page, it says like 85, and that's pretty accurate, but I also have a ton of backup bottles, and Fragrantica doesn't count those in there. So yeah, I would say probably pretty close to 100, um, maybe a little more, a little less, I don't know. Let's get wasted on live and do a sloppy q and I'm down for that. And that actually brings up something that I would like to do is that maybe have some like the viewers on. So like you see a lot of people do um, live streams with other reviewers and that's great. And that's something that you know I've done and I like to do and that I'd want to do more of. But I think it'd be cool to have some like some of you guys on, you know, some of you viewers have them on or have you guys on uh, to talk if anyone's interested in doing that. I think that would be cool as well. Um, that was something that would make it fun, you know, change it up. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys, if you guys would want to come on, you know, live the live stream. We could do that. Videos are nice, but these live streams are a little more personal. Yeah, for sure. And it's a lot of fun for me, and I know it's a lot of fun for you guys. Um, it's cool that I'm able to talk to you in real time. Because like I said, when I record my videos, I'm literally just talking to myself. Like, talking to just my camera. Um, I guess I still am kind of talking to myself because no one's in the room. But, I mean, obviously you guys are watching live. Um, no, this is legit. Thanks for this. Live is way better. Appreciate that, Richard. Glad you're liking it, dude. Um, and another thing I want to do uh, is maybe like live fragrance reviews. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, like live fragrance reviews. That's something I would like to do. Uh, like, you know, get a good feeling for the fragrance first, wear it and test it. Instead of just recording like the video and editing and uploading it, just have like a live review. So that way you guys can kind of see me like break down the fragrance like live. And then another thing would be like do uh, like live first impressions or like live like blind sniffing fragrances like where I basically take a fragrance that I haven't smelled or I haven't looked up the notes and I like smell it you know live and try to pick out notes. So that's some other ideas that be think would be fun to do. Maybe a super HD camera as well. And Klieg lighting and a DP. Yeah, man. Uh, get like a whole uh, like a whole team in here. Help run the live show. But yeah, like I said, I'll try to hook up my camera to it. I think you need some sort of like uh, thing to like hook up your camera and have it go live, which I'll probably do at some point. The streaming is nice, but if you ask a girl to test your tops in live, I think people will enjoy that too. Yeah, man. It's another thing is have... You know, like a girl on, get her opinion on fragrances or, you know, whatever. That's something I could do as well. <clears throat> what would I recommend Versace Arrows for? Um, pretty much just, I mean, I would just say mostly just anything except for close encounter, like wear it like office stuff. Don't wear it in the office. Don't wear it. Preferably don't wear it at school. I've done that before and it's not the best. 
So I would say any sort of outdoors or parties or things like that, um, I, that would be great. I would just refrain from doing any sort of indoor close encounter, like like I said, like at work or school or whatever. I would not wear arrows for that. Um, just too strong and too sweet. What is my favorite man, Sarah? Probably Sidrat Boise, followed by um, Sicily. And then um, also another one that I've been liking that I haven't gotten a bottle of is Hindu Kush. Uh, that's a really good one. I have a sample of it. And it's not only is it, does it smell really good, but it's also I, probably one of my or one of the strongest Manseras that I've smelled um, lasted on my skin for an extremely long time. It smells really good too. You to man. Appreciate it, man. Am I the only one who tests their fragrances overnight before bed? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I test my fragrances at night sometimes. A lot. If I smell it in the morning, kind of gives me a good gauge of performance. <clears throat> you need to invite attractive girls in your vids to smell your colognes and rate it in a good indoor setting. That's another thing, yeah, I'd like to do. Um, either uh, live or just regular videos. Um, yeah, I'll do that at some point. Old Reflection Man formulation versus new. So actually, I have a sample of Reflection Man, but I have no idea when it was from. Uh, the sample was from Notino um, back in the day. I got it, you know, back when Notino was around. So I have no idea what um, what it is. Um, but from what I've heard, it's mostly, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not for sure. I'm sure the new formulation is just as good. I smelled high intensity by Mary Kay. No, I have not. My fave country collection, Cologne Reviews, Chaos, Steve Random, Gent Sense, Triple Link. Awesome, man. All solid reviewers right there, dude. If only we could get Gent Sense to come back or get Ashton to come back. Uh, glad to see Bradley is back making some videos. Hopefully, he'll be dropping another one soon. Is ultra male too strong too? Um, I would say yeah for you know again indoors and stuff like that work. I wouldn't wear it. Not only is it too strong as far as performance and everything, but also just how sweet it is, and I just wouldn't do it. But any sort of outdoors, um, you know, parties and or if you're indoors in like a big huge room where there's like you know I don't know yeah. Just use your best judgment is all I had to say, really. Do I own any fragrances by Serge Luton's? If so, what's your favorite? I haven't, I don't. And I actually haven't even smelled any. I really want to try a Chirugi or whatever that one is. I've heard that one's really good, but I just haven't gotten around to trying it. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and cut it off here. Um, appreciate everyone tuning in, watching me talk for like two hours. Um, yeah, going on, what, two and a half hours almost? Um, see, Trugi is dope, just picked it up. Nice, man. Fragrance I'm most proud of, probably Elysium Extrait. Um, I love Elysium. You know, I'm, I'm glad to have the X-Straight just because of how expensive it is and really good stuff. <clears throat> Please list my office hours on my IG profile. I can do that, man. I can do that. 
Well, you can miss vid so I can go watch some porn. <laughs> I mean, you can do two tabs, man. You can watch this. You can watch some porn at the same time, dude. Um, I just missed this. Oh, sorry, Vincent. Like I said, I'm going to try to get like a, uh, you know, scheduled time. So like every Thursday or whatever at this time, the live stream will be. So that way you guys can see it. Cause I know these are easy to miss. Like I never get notifications when other people do live streams. It's so like, I pretty much always miss live streams, which sucks. So yeah, I'm going to try to get a, uh, get like a schedule down pat and I'll probably end up like, if you guys are in my Facebook group, I'll post it there. Um, or I can just announce it in one of my upcoming videos or something. So I'll probably try to do that. So again, I appreciate everyone coming in, uh, stopping by asking me some questions and I'll probably plan to do this, uh, next Thursday. We'll go ahead and say that. Um, so yeah, guys, appreciate it. I'm going to upload a video Saturday. Not sure what it's going to be yet, but keep a lookout for that. Um, so, all right, guys. See you in the next one.